Hi, my Gemini and Gemini Rising friends. Sandra from ForYourChi.com here today to do your monthly tarot and oracle card reading for July of 2022. Thanks so much for being here with me. First, first six houses on YouTube as usual. Well, Taurus, as we begin July, you are standing your ground. This is not letting anyone railroad you walk all over you, try to push you around, try to boss you around, you are not having it. You are drawing your line in the sand here, Gemini. And you are letting someone know that if they cross the line, there will be consequences, okay? You also have the Yes card, which talks about listening to your intuition and following it. And it's also talking about, yes, the divine, there is divine timing with this in standing your ground, okay? And that could be with anyone, by the way. That could be with a partner. That could be with your child. Um, that could be with your boss. That could be with a coworker. That could be with your friends. That could be with multiple people. Your second house. Rejoice in celebration. Okay. So this is this is as it relates to your money and your stuff. You could um, receive extra money, a bonus, an unexpected gift. You could win a small lottery. The advice card, I love it, is let yourself receive. So don't feel guilty over this, Gemini, because whatever you're getting here, you are deserving of it in July. And it's a celebration, it's a party. Allow others to give you loving care and receiving without guilt or apologies. How cool is that? All right, your third house, your brother or sister, they are receiving blessings as well. They are receiving blessings from the heavenly plane and the earthly plane. Now, I love the fact that we pulled blessed change because this card does mean blessings. So they have blessed twice. It could be that you have a sibling who's being blessed over and over in July, or you have two siblings that are receiving blessings in July. Um, the bottom of this card, which I, this is one of my favorite cards in this deck, a major life change brings great blessings. For some of them, um, this could be a child um, that's being added to the family, okay? Um, your fourth house, your house of home where you currently live, obstacles and challenges. Okay, so things are not going as smoothly as you had hoped. Hopefully you are not in the middle of a house renovation because there will be um, some unexpected delays and perhaps some extra expenses related to the home. Cancel that, cancel, clear, delete that. However, you are being protected. So if you are being prevented from going forward in some sort of house change, now this could also be a move. Um, if you are trying to sell or buy right now and it is not going well, the rejection is actually the higher powers protection, okay? You have to believe that. Um, and in many, many cases, that's the truth. I would say the majority of the time, in my own experience and with my clients, your fifth house rules your social circle, your fun, your friendships, and your dating life if you're single. Okay, we have the panic card here. So you are panicking about something. If you are dating, perhaps they are doing something um, that triggers you into thinking that something from your past is happening all over again. A lot of times that's not true, but sometimes this is a warning that that could be coming true in, at some point in the future, but typically not in the short term future. Okay. You pulled alchemy. Alchemy talks about you have the Midas touch right now and every project that you begin turns to gold. Okay. So that doesn't sound too bad to me. Now, it's very interesting that the solar plexus chakra is gold. Um, perhaps some of you actually need to do a chakra clearing. Look that up on YouTube. Solar plexus chakra clearing specifically, although I would clear all the chakras out if I'm going to do it. That's just me. Um, this could also be talking about, you know, you might need to release someone here, whether it's someone that you're dating or a friend. 
in order to bring in someone new and better suited for you. And this could even be talking about those who are just in your friendship circle. Now, your sixth house of work and health sacrifice. The Gemini is working very hard, but working very hard to receive very little back when you consider all of the efforts that are your, you are putting forth at this time. You pulled accept heaven's help. There is help available to you right now. I'm actually looking to see if she has any birds because there are birds in this card in the sky. It's actually not birds around her. It's a ribbon and a scarf in this Native American. Anyway, once you are asking for help, it isn't going to be important to get out of your own way. Stop being negative about not receiving help. Don't talk about it anymore. Get busy doing something or something else. Get your mind off of it and allow yourself to receive it, okay? It's going to be important this month to take off the load of the burden on you. This could also be because your sixth house relates to your health, health concerns, situations. Um, you may be struggling through a health ailment or something like that, if that's you seek a physician. If you've already sought a physician, this is not medical advice, keep going back to someone or someone else who can get to the bottom of your problem. A lot of times it's not Western medicine anymore. I say this, I swear every month that I'm doing these readings. A lot of times it's alternative medicine if you can find the right one. Okay. Now, we're going to be looking at who is around you in the Gemini 7th house of relationships. We're going to be going to the extended soon. But you have the 10 of cups. You also have the ace of cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, you also pulled the chariot, which to me is another Gemini. Um, some people say the chariot is a cancer card. I don't read it as a cancer card, but... You know, I can't rule it out because you did pull heavy water here with the other two cup cards. Okay, so if you want to join me in the extended reading, we're going to be looking at your relationship in depth. We're going to be looking at your taxes, contracts, intima intimacy, uh, source of your significant other's income, if that pertains to you. We're going to be looking at your school and your travel, your career and your mother, your child and your best friend, and the future card, which is about what's to happen, which is regarding what's coming up three months from now. It is the future. Many blessings to you. Thank you for be being here and watching me, my Geminis. Take care.